Cool. So first off, just I uh, just want to thank SB New Tech organizers for allowing us to present here. It's our first time, and it looks like a very exciting place to um, show our company. So I'm here presenting Floss Time. Um, also here with me are Greg and Michael, who's in the audience. Um, so before we start, I just want to ask everyone two quick questions. So raise your hand if you would like to live up to six years long. Anyone? <laughs> awesome. Now, keep your hands up if your dentist harasses you about flossing every time. <laughs> well, it turns out you're not alone. So more than 80% of all Americans actually do not floss on a daily basis. More than a third of us just <coughs> don't floss, period. Now, what is the problem with flossing? I'm sure 60% you know, of all American households actually own one, one of these. It's a floss dispenser. It's over 100 years old. And it actually doesn't really solve the flossing problem. If you don't floss, you get gum disease, which has been linked to heart disease, diabetes, and even respiratory problems. So what we've invented is we can call floss time. Um, here's the sort of beautiful final production unit that you will see in CVS and Walgreens. But here's the prototype um, that, that we brought here today. So floss time is the world's first of its kind smart floss dispenser that is designed to help you develop better flossing habits. So imagine you walk into your bathroom, you haven't flossed in 24 hours or longer. Floss time will glow, chance of warning lights to remind you that, hey, it's time for you to floss. <laughs> With the press of a button, I can find the button here. Floss time will dispense exactly 18 inches of floss, which is what is recommended by the ADA, and it will cut by a simple pull. Now, so if you do your flossing well, when you press the button, you're going to get a smile. It's also going to tell you how long you should floss for. So we'll go around in a quadrant, with, starting with your top teeth and your bottom teeth. If you, if you don't want to be too complicated, it actually, actually just has a timer. So say you should floss between 90 and 120 seconds. The other part of this design is that there's a dual user mode. So two of you can use the same flossing device. So you know whoever you're living with, if, if they have a floss, their side will glow with warning lights. Whereas if you do a good job, it, it won't at all. And of course, we think that this would be great for kids. Um, we developed actually a couple of different animal prototypes, uh, some of which might be here. No, great. Great, do we have to Sorry. Got a bit of a <laughs> ball there. Um, so where, where are we in terms of, of production? Well, so far we've actually Finish 99%. Oh, thank you. So, you know, these are 3D printed parts, but the, you can see sort of what kind of things we can do with this. This would just be a snap on to the actual device. It's shown here. Um, so, your parents, both parents and kids can do it. You can have a boy and girl's version. Um, so far, we've actually already completed 99% of uh, the engineering behind this. This is just sort of a schematic to show you what we've actually sent to manufacturers in China. Um, we've got our first quotes back this week. We're almost ready for production. And uh, over the next two months, we're going to be launching a kick Kickstarter campaign to, to launch our product. Eventually, we'll actually want to move into CVS, Walgreens, Walmart. The retail price in those stores will be around $15, $14.99, or $24.99 for a two-unit pack. Um, and with by building a very conservative financial model, we can estimate that we can easily become a 50 or 60 million dollar company within two or three years by going through these large retailers. Um, currently, we are raising our seed round on convertible notes, so if any of you are interested, please come up and talk to me, Michael, or Greg after the presentation. Thank you. So maybe I'll ask the first question, Duke, if you don't mind. <clears throat> How did you come up with the pricing? What type of testing and market validation did you do to come up with the price? Sure. So um, actually, we've, we've gone out and talked to just random strangers on the street, talking to them about our product. And uh, the fourteen ninety nine price point, actually, well, one of them said to us, oh, fourteen ninety nine for six months to a year worth of loss. That's great. Um, and you know, part of that also goes into the production costs. CVS and Walgreens actually takes a 45% cut from whatever you sell in the store. Um, and so we've built both, both on the financial end and also on the customer end 
but that price seems to be right. Great, thank you. Yeah. So how is it powered and how is it refilled? Perfect. So um, the very first generation is powered by AA batteries, which is shown there. And uh, eventually we might want to do a refillable version where they would sort of buy our own cartridge to fit into the device. But there's an interesting price point when it comes to moving products into CBS, right? So you say $15 for a flossing product that lasts you a year, that's great. But $30 for something that lasts you three years, an actual quote from a, a consumer says, well, wow, $30 for floss, that's, that's quite expensive. And so we're going out with a disposable because that's what most people um, are, are used to. And a um, common analogy is a spin brush, which some of you might have used. It's a disposable six to seven dollar toothbrush um, in, in CVS. And uh, that company was developed in the um, early 90s by John Osher and it sold to P&G for about 400 million dollars. So the kind of, uh, it's in the same kind of model where you use this after a year Things in the bathroom get gross anyway, so you can go out and get a new one. Yeah? Um, so you mentioned you, uh, you plan to sell to CVS, Walgreens. Do you have actually established relationships with these entities, or is this something that you plan on getting? Great. So, <laughs> oh, sure. so, so the question is, you know, we're planning on moving into these larger retailers. Do we have any connections uh, with them already? Well, our CEO, Michael, actually has already pushed a product through Walgreens and Walmart. And he already knows the distributor. Actually, we've already gotten a uh, distributor interested in carrying our products through. So uh, the channels are there. Just got to get the product through. Great, thank you. Yeah. Questions? Questions? Yeah. How does it know that I'm doing a good job or not? Does it have a camera? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, we, that, that was that was in the brainstorming session, but we figured you know Big Brother and sort of privacy issues would be a problem. No, so right now it's on a, a sort of an analog or digital timer. So every time you press it, it goes on a 24-hour clock. So know that I'm not just standing there. No, so we you know the next generation device we do plan on potentially including Bluetooth, um, motion sensor, and all of those. It drains a lot of battery, so potentially you will need to use uh, rechargeable batteries and maybe plug it to the wall um, to get all, all of those things. And of course, it would drive the price point up. So we sort of designed the functionality of this to fit both what we think is a better market and also uh, what consumers are more likely to buy. All right, that looks like all the questions. So thank you, Duke, and thank you for last time.